Hello, I'm Sana Khurshid. I'm a lawyer and a disability advocate, and I happen to be a wheelchair user. Um, I was a first year medical student when a car accident on the motorway robbed me of my dreams, my aspirations and hopes. I was involved in a road traffic accident which left me a quadriplegic wheelchair user. I'm paralyzed from the neck downwards, that means I have no limb function. I can't walk and I cannot um, use my hands. Uh, life after my accident was a journey, a journey that was filled with darkness, misery, grief, frustration. Um, I don't know how I got through it, but I did get through it and I have my family and friends to thank for that. We're always uh, being told that life is what you make of it and uh, uh, life is the biggest gift that uh, can be bestowed on you. But uh, when you're going through some uh, trauma, you don't realize it and you don't appreciate those words as much. But you know, there comes a point in your life when you do realize that uh, the miracle that you have been praying for is that life that you've been given by Allah. So once I realized that, and once I realized that, that, okay, this is my life now, I am going to be a wheelchair user, I am going to be a person with a disability, I accepted the fact and I said, okay, Sana, now it's time to move on. Once you accept life for what it is, miracles start happening. Um, I took charge of my life. I said, even if I cannot write, it doesn't matter. Uh, I resumed my studies. I started my LLB and I, I did my LLM in spite of having no hand function. I used to dictate it to a writer. It, it was very difficult because I had to spell out each and every word, format every word, but it's okay. I took it all in my stride. There are difficulties in everything and whatever you do, you have to face challenges. I've never let uh, the difficulties and challenges get to me because you cannot let any uh, sort of uh, negativity hold you back because you need to move on, you need to fight, you need to overcome those obstacles if you want to get somewhere in life. I know it's not easy, life is not easy, it's not easy for anyone, but you've got to give it that shot. And once you start um, making an effort and once you decide that you are going to fight, you know, uh, things start happening and paths are made for you and everything is made easy. Once you take that decision to take your life in charge. So anyway, to cut a very long story short, I uh, finished my LLM and um, you know, as a, I'm a person who's very social and I love to go out. So um, I, uh, once I was in a restaurant and the, uh, you know, in Pakistan, there is no facility for wheelchair users. There's a, there are no ramps, no disabled toilets, no disabled parking. So, um, but that never stopped me from going out and enjoying and having fun with my friends. Once I was in a restaurant and the waiters who were lifting me up the stairs to the restaurant, they, his hand slipped and I thought, oh my God, this is it. Now I'm going to fall down. And last time I broke my neck, I don't know. I think I'm going to get a head injury this time. But anyway, I survived. And that was the point which got me thinking that, you know, I'm no better than any other person who comes home and complains that, oh, the state is not uh, facilitating us. Nobody's doing anything. What am I doing for myself? That was the point that I had realized that to, you know, I have to raise my voice when nobody else is because it is up to me to fight for what I believe in, for, to fight for what I think is my right. So I engaged with the civil advocacy firm, GSC Law, and uh, with advocate Ali Chukhtai, we started writing letters to the relevant departments and uh, places for them to incorporate ramps and disabled facilities in their public and commercial building. Uh, once we started researching, we realized that LD ha already had a building code which mandated for a wheelchair ramp and a disabled toilet to be present in every commercial and public building. But like all other laws, it was not being implemented. So that is where my whole journey from accessibility started. And um, it's been a few years, we filed a petition, but um, unfortunately it got disposed of because of a very broad Supreme Court judgment, but that did not hold us back. We um, got together and uh, we strategized and we thought, okay, now we're going to even go for something bigger. So this time we filed a, f a fresh petition, which not only uh, asked for uh, facilities for wheelchair users, but we wanted people with all kinds of disabilities to be facilitated in public and commercial buildings because access is a basic human right. 
it is our right to enjoy all public spaces and uh, you know it's not a favor it's our right and even if we have to shout for it fight for it snatch it we will so this fresh petition uh, fortunately we were very lucky um, under justice um, jawad's um, court uh we were not only given what we were asked for that is the incorporation of these uh, uh wheel accessibility codes in uh, building uh, regulations but he went one step further and uh, he got us um, uh, involved with this relevant uh, government department the social welfare department and with a team of brilliant lawyers and other uh, relevant uh, professionals we sat down and formulated a law for punjab that would not only facilitate people with all kinds of disabilities but ensure that their future is secured that they are empowered that they are given the same sort of platform and facilities and benefits that everybody enjoys that law deals with everything and anything from employment to healthcare to education everything is included in that because it is high time that people with disabilities were given uh, you know they had remain unheard and unseen and invisible for far too long now is their time to show the world that they matter that they are good as anybody there is a stigma attached to uh, people with disabilities but you cannot write us off we might not do things in the conventional way but we do get things done it's all about adapting into a lifestyle you know i might take longer to get to point a to b but i do get there so you know you need to give me a chance you need to get, be patient you cannot just ignore such a big part of your population because at the end of the day we are all equal we all deserve to live a life of independence dignity and we all deserve to enjoy all kinds of rights that are being provided for us so you know this bill once it gets passed through parliament would be a game changer and it would forever strengthen and empower people with all kinds of disabilities and i think it will go a long way in improving everybody's uh, um, lives and uh, the perception that is uh, associated with people with disabilities for me personally it has been a journey and it has been very fulfilling and of course this is just the starting point this is not the end we plan to go much further and uh, you know one of my favorite things uh, to do is to go to schools and tell uh, teach young people about people with disabilities and let them ask any sort of question they have and you know because these children they are the future they are the society that we will become and i want them to know that uh, there is no stigma and there is no we are not different we are the same so um i i want to break down the barriers and the stigmas that are attached to people with disabilities i want to finish that distance that people associate it's not them or us it's all we're all the same so um it's been a interesting journey i have done my bit it's not been easy sometimes uh, there are a lot of things that do hold you back a lot of negativity but then you have to just shake it off and move on